Okay, I'm going to call this one a complicated unboxing. So yeah, this is kind of what we're dealing with. This is a <laughs> giant Canon uh, Pixma G7020. And this isn't initially the one I wanted, but it's all they had. So, uh, I and I need a printer, so we're, we're going to roll with it. Um, first of all, I probably need something to cut it open with. Alrighty, shall we begin? Boy, that's my feet you're sitting on. Thank you so much. So it's not necessarily heavy so much as it is just bulky. So that's kind of a relief. Hi, Ahsoka, are you gonna help me? I might have some kitty help. I don't know, she looks very confused. <laughs> oh boy, there's even instructions on how to take it out. Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, don't put your hand on that. Or do put your hand on that. No. Oh, okay. That is creepy. It somehow, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're gonna pull these out all together. Yeah, sure, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, all together. That's, you know, my dad was saying how I wouldn't be able to get this out of the car. I got it out of the car, but I think I might need help getting it out of the box. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's totally fine. Mm-mm-mm. Come to me, wires. Uh-huh. Well, looky there. And... It looks like all of the things that I'm going to need. Oh, boy! <laughs> me getting this on this table is going to be great. Oh, I can, I can totally not wait. Wow, you guys are going to love this. And I'm really gonna hate it. Just saying. Okay, wait a minute. That goes that way. You really expect me to pull that out? <laughs> oh, okay, it really does. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> there are like top and bottom parts. Okay, it's totally fine. Of styrofoam. Let me let me be clear. And then pull out this way. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. No, there's lots of plastic. I don't see this happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> my wrists are stuck. <laughs> oh, I got it. <sighs> you just need to push really hard with your wrists. Oh, that's really heavy. <laughs> just want y'all to know. <laughs> oh, there's more stuff in here. What else is in here? Oh, my God. Getting started, well, I don't need help with that no more. Oh, look at all these bottles. Oh, wow, okay. So this is the first cam camera. <laughs> this is the first printer I've ever had that just comes with ink. So, yeah, this is interesting. I usually have to... Change entire cartridges, you know, so that tends to be Well, let's see about how much did I used to pay for ink per cartridge 65 like that's about yeah, About 65 Whereas the cartridge well, there is no cartridge It's just a thing and you fill it up and there's three Black inks that came with this that is fancy Oh, look, more stuff. And uh, the colors. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, that totally fell, and I'm not going after it. I'm putting that back the way it came, just in case. Because we need to make sure this sucker works. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Yeah. 
I do not want to talk about how incredibly complicated that was. Complicated. Yep. Well, there's lots of tape to get off. And all the things. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm not ready. Truly. Not even close. This is the worst unboxing ever, but I don't care. <laughs> Thank God all these parts were taped together because if I didn't, like, or if it wasn't, it would have been a very difficult uh, road up the hill. It would have been a very difficult trip. But anyway. Shall we see how many strips are actually on here? Let's start. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Start at the top. One. Two. Make sure everything comes out. Oh, look, it's so nice. <gasps> Scanner. Three. Four. Seven. I found where to insert the uh, ink. Eight. Ow. That's a big one. Oh, dear God. Nine. <laughs> Ten. comes out. Okay, so there's 10, 11, maybe 12 now. <laughs> That's all different. <laughs> okay, 12, 12, 12, 12. Don't forget we're at 12. Put this thing or my jig back in there. I have no clue what that does. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at 12, but now I'm concerned. Oh! In the back? No. Hmm. It doesn't look like it. Well, looks like it was 12. Oh, I'm I'm very confused. Sorry. This opens up and it's it's showing like a lining paper. Please don't tell me that's where the paper comes out of. <laughs> it's gonna make this really complicated because we're trying to stick it up there and yeah that's not gonna be great. Not ideal. So this comes out. These. Oh okay. Maybe it just does it for some other bit. I will find out eventually. Oh, here. This might help if you could, like, see what I'm fighting with. Whoop. You did not hear plastic. Don't be coming running in here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. So if you want to include weird plastic bits, that's 13 and 14. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So this is the front where you'll be able to see the levels of ink put in it, which seems pretty freaking cool if you ask me. And the black one is over here and clearly bigger. Um, yeah, it's a little nuts. So let me take a looky-see. Or I can just drop it. I don't need it. Yeah, getting started. Okay. Online setup even. Ooh, that's a lot of instructions. 
Um, yep. Do this, place this, do that. Setting up the printer. Print heads. Oh, okay. So that's what these are. Print heads. This is so fancy. I don't know if I can hammer it. Okay. Anyway, remove and dispose of any packing materials. Yeah. Oh, it's very specifically showing that orange piece. Yeah, I know. Right here. <laughs> I figured that out already. Okay, thanks. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, no, drop that too. I'll get that later. <laughs> Let's see. Open the print head locking cover. Oh, that's what those were. Yeah, right there. Take out each print head from the package and remove the label. Oh. Yeah, remove the protective tape. Insert C in the left and B on the right. Ooh. I guess I actually have to do that. Okay. Not the best for this, but... Alright, good luck me. Okay. And I have very excited kitties running about. That's awesome. You're totally helping, guys. Totally helping. Okay. Oops. Please stop falling in the back. Those are not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Ooh, that is definitely it. Okay. Ooh, how do I open said print locking cover? That's apparently it. But it just comes right up. Oh, you have to press the little lever. Gotcha. Oh, this is so like awkward. Because it's like going in, like can't really open this up any more than it is already. So this is like really <sighs> finger wrenching. <laughs> mm, okay. So let's see. Pull to open. Oh great. Oh, and of course, you know, being at high altitude, all the packaging kind of just expands. It's awesome. Thank God there's nothing to explode. Again, thank God for these sealed bottles, because uh, that would have been fatally terrible. Fatal for it. All right, remove that. Remove this. Okay. And it says C, and I'm keeping my hands uh, not on the things, by the way, so be careful when you open these. I'd recommend kind of pinching it. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Trying to make sure that is the way it goes in. So the longer, bigger bit goes first. So here we go. This is C. Insert C. Oh, I don't even know how it's supposed to insert. So how is this even going to work? I don't know. Close the print head and press down until it clicks. I don't know, I'm supposed to just set it in here, somehow. <laughs> Very somehow. Oh, that's better. Okay, it just sets right in there, thank God, okay. <laughs> Woo! And B. Oh, get in there. Don't be a jerk. Okay. Set them in side by side. They're kind of pretty well in there. Lock head. Oh, or press. Yeah, close print head, locking cover, and press down until it clicks. I don't like the sound of that. Make sure they're flat. This is making me so nervous right now, and it's pushing it out. Yeah, this one keeps being pushed. Why is this one pushing? Oh, yeah, see, that's not a good click at all. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it's too close. Was that my problem? This is why new things suck. Okay, I'm here. Mm, I don't like 
this. Well, it it's really means it. Press down. Okay, so it clicked. What else you want from me? <laughs> I'm a pretty kid. Oh, you know what? Those are not even remotely lined up. They have little majigs on the top. But the picture says this should work. So it's supposed to like be pushed back in the back. And it's supposed to somehow fit, which does not make sense. This does not fit. So it's either a liar or it's very confused. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to take this out because it's orange. I'm gonna assume that's what that is. Because there's no reason for there to be a color piece in this. So, oh, hey, look, now it fits in further. Ha <laughs> ha! Evil orange piece! You don't need this! Stupid thing! I'm like, that does not line up. Okay. Till it clicks. Lock. Lock. Got it. See, this is why when you're a designer or engineer or whoever the fuck designs this shit, you need to be very specific. Although, it did say number two with the thing. They should have specified. Oh, and protective material. Okay, maybe they did. I didn't read it right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're blaming the shit. Yeah, it's not specific enough. Nope. That means in red and in capital, you should say, throw orange piece away. That's that's what we need on here. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> yep, yep. Until they click, checkity check. Next page. Setting up the printer. Oh, pouring ink. Great. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, so one thing I should mention that I did learn. Um... Okay, those cartridges that I just put in there, you have to, was it them or was it these? I think it might have been the cartridge for the ink here. I think that's what it was. I don't know. There is something that you have to actually take out and clean. You know, you can't just continuously add ink and assume it's going to work forever. You have to actually clean this stuff. So that sucks having an extra step, but it's better than, you know having to buy cartridges <laughs> so I'm trying to look for the positive here let's see open the tank cover on the left of the printer that's the black y'all and the cap oh boy that's weird anyway hold the ink bottle upright and gently twist the bottle cap to remove yeah I knew that align it with the inlet Slowly stand the bottle upside down and push down to pour the ink. Hmm. If the ink does not pour, gently, gently remove the ink bottle and try it again. Okay. Be careful not to spill the ink. Yeah, no shit. Replace the cap securely and then the tank cover. <laughs> Make sure those are all done. Close the scanning unit cover. Connect power cord and etc. power cord. Okay. Now that I know what I'm kind of dealing with, uh, let's give this a try. Removing bottle. This is so cool though that you actually buy the ink and not the fucking cartridges anymore. I'm so excited. Oh, I see. So there's a, a like a little nozzle bit that is freaking me out. Ah, I see. Ooh. It does kind of like align and match up to this weird stuff. And it really scares me. I'm going to make a mess. This is great. You know, let me just get a towel on standby. Because y'all don't understand how fucking crazy this is and how clumsy I am. Get a towel I don't really care about. Great. Come on, chair. This is awesome. <laughs> they literally show a picture of this. And they literally want you to hold it, like, straight upside down. This is really not... There's no way... There's no good way to show you guys this, I think. 
So yeah, here it goes. Nothing. Oh, well, good news is it doesn't immediately pour out. Just FYI, it really does require that little nozzle to kind of like poke up in it. And it's filling up. So that's good. I mean, kind of spill proof, but probably not perfect, you know? This is a whole bottle, though. Like. How much can this take, though? Because I'm, like, really concerned. Okay, so it's kind of making an ink mess but like luckily still on the inside. I think it's trying to tell me that like, <laughs> that's enough. So I'm just gonna roll with that. Although it does want me to Really, you want it to go all the way up to that? Okay. Well, it's certainly not filling as fast as it was before. It just needed to be at a slight tilt, I suppose. Oh! I guess that's smart so you don't accidentally fuck up or overfill. Okay, there's still a little bit left in here. Like, barely. It feels like it's about here. But seriously, that's, like, practically full. I'm, I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, there goes one. Toddy doll. Next. Alright. Cap. Cap. We good. Can you see the colored ones on the side? Yeah. Okay. What are we doing? Magenta. <laughs> this is so weird. It's cool, but it's weird. I really like the design of all this shit, though, to make sure that you don't waste any ink or spill or any of that stuff. So this is really awesome. Canon, this is a really cool design. Just saying. Ooh. Yep, I think, I think we're good with that too. <laughs> There's a little bit left in there. Oy. Definitely don't think I want to overfill. Especially on my first time. Just saying. Right, Lilo. <laughs> oh, I've got hiccups. This is how nervous I am. I gave myself hiccups. God, look at it go. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's concerning slightly. It's really far up there. I feel like the entirety of the bottle would fill that and it's fine, but like, I don't want to push it. Because this is some severe new, don't freak out Vel's mind kind of stuff. It's like when it's still like glugging, glug, 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 stop. <laughs> okay. Blink. It's still glugging. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Close cover. Ah! Close the cover that I know nothing about. Okay. Connect power cord, which luckily is decently close to a power cable. That thing. Okay, paper I dropped there. Extra trash there. Ooh. 
towel can safely go this way. <sighs> Thanks, towel. You are wonderful. Power. You know, I'm not going to play scooch around, so let's just do this. Good enough, I believe. Trash removal. Boop. Oh, wait a minute. Open the operation panel. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, wow, that really adjusts, doesn't it? And press on. Ooh. Beep yourself. Hello. When following the screen appears, language selection. Uh -huh, uh huh. Use that button and that button, select language, and press the OK button. Okay. <laughs> Loading paper. Oh, where do we put the paper? I don't remember. Let me go get some paper while it's sinking. Aha. Start alignment to improve print quality. Sure. Load two or more sheets of paper. Oh, this whole thing fucking comes out. That's nerve wracking. Okay. Okay, so this was pretty damn important. Um, on the connection page, na -da 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 -da. yes, I hear you, computer. You can go back here. All the steps that I just did, they have a video of right here where it's like, oh, remove the tape, prep the printer. Okay, so preparing the printer. Ugh. You know, install the print heads, and it's got like step by step pictures, not really video. That you could slide through and do all that, which is great. And then you do your uh, downloading of the software, which clearly I have. So that was really easy. And if I had known that all of that was going to be right here and easily like findable, I suppose, that might have made that a whole lot easier. So just FYI, that's what that looks like. <laughs> Start is set up. Just wanted to get all of the bits in here so you guys can have a full serious tutorial on how this really went down. All right, before you continue this software, I'm going to use network to set up the printer. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, Ahsoka baby. <laughs> Hi, honey, but don't hit your head on things. People will think I'm throwing things at you or something. Cats are so helpful, guys. You see? Yeah. Hi, baby. You're so helpful. Please don't rub on my iPad. You're going to knock it down. <laughs> Stop hitting your head. God, self-torture doesn't suit you. Sit. Sit. I mean it. Here. See? See how difficult this is, kitty? She's making this, like, way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, this is not difficult. Just lay down and behave. Which, you know, she's not going to. Yep, there she goes. Please go play with your sister if you're going to be a butt. <laughs> All right, let's see. License agreement, blar diddy blarg as usual. Yep, yep, except because obviously I'm going to use the damn printer. There's no way I'm going to decline it. Okay, as soon as I click the fucking off button, it's like, okay, connected. You're so rude. Okay, next. Installing drivers, and I hear it making noise in here. dropping things. Oh, it's printing. It's test printing. Yay. And it's sucking it back in. Bye. <laughs> ah, I cannot keep this camera held up. Oh, I need a new tripod really bad. That was really weird, you guys. Oh my god, it like needs to go out here and out the back, like that's what I was just doing. I had to open that little spot in the back. It's really weird. 
and complicated. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, there's a feeder back here, and these things slide and move. It's very confusing. I think I need more paper now. Okay, creepy gremlin thing. Who's gonna be mad? Load several sheets of paper. Align the paper. Guide. And then close cover, slot feed cover, which is what that is. Do I press OK? Yeah, that's like nothing about no rear paper. Ooh. I pressed OK and I didn't do anything, so OK. Let's check the drivers. Now with the drivers, I just set this printer as my main printer, so yeah, good luck to me on that. <laughs> it's still doing whatever it's doing, I don't know. I can't say anything about the rear paper, whatever the hell that is. What is this? Rear paper? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, there is a literally a rear paper thing. Why? Why would you need a front and a back one? Oh, what do you want? <sighs> Save the rear paper tray. Yeah, sure. Should I open it back up? Oh, and extend the paper support. Oh, my bad. My bad there. I extended. <laughs> mm. Oh, you want me to load it in the back? Load the paper in the back. Okay, I got it. Why are there two of these? Is this supposed to be for like super fast printing? Align the paper and then close the slot feed cover, which is the inside. Okay. And that's the feedy part. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shit over. I'm sorry. This is how hard this is. What? This is literally like the dumbest thing ever, but also like easy? Easy but dumb. I mean, that, that works. Okay. Wait, letter size? Is that what it is? There's a lot of types of paper. Literally a lot, okay. A4. A4 is letter, right? Letter, yeah. I guess so. Plain paper. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Size and type and press the OK button. Okay, I did. Now what? <laughs> Are you going to print? It made a noise, didn't it? Hello? Is there one alive in there? No. Hmm. I'm very confused. That's all it says. And then it goes into the transporting of the printer. Do I have to like lock it in place? I mean, it's practically locked in place. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Why is there a back loader? I want to know things. Are these things for the scanner part? Probably. So this is what it did. One's got like lines and the other one's actual full boxes. Now what? <laughs> All right, if I'm lucky, I changed it in time. Oh, it's working. Okay. Had to change my battery pack. Fucking ass. Okay. So... Yeah, you load it in the back, and it's printing from the front. This is my test print, uh, just to kind of see where the colors are. It's really hard since uh, I still don't know where the settings should be, so I did as defaulty as I could, and we're going to find out right now. Okay. On regular piece of paper, uh, RGB print 
it looks about right. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, so my actual print prints um, with the RGB being obviously CMY for a color, um, you have to change your file. So it's really kind of complicated being like, okay, you have to have the file a certain way and then you have to have the printer set up a certain way. But overall, it's actually pretty decent. So I probably should have printed it on an actual piece of print or not print, a uh, photo paper. Well, we are now printing on glossy paper. I learned how to set up the front for regular paper, and then I set up the back for the glossy paper, um, which is just like a regular photo gloss paper, whatever, nothing fancy. Although Canon was asking about their premium pro paper, I'm like, I don't know what that is. Not at all. Also, I got blue on me ink there there and there so that blue was evil oh I didn't extend the tray <laughs> note self that's what we should do oh wow oh my gorgeous I mean what yeah wow you guys actually the blue in this is so so good even compared to my original prints oh my god hold on all right there we go oh I know that light is really shitty but plain photo paper move this original print this was outsourced by uh vista print i believe which is a nice little cardstock version mind you the same file type as this one but i think it printed better using the canon oh glossy you're killing me right now holy shit uh detail level of detail is the same you know that is file bits not necessarily printer specific but I do love the color although if I wanted the reds to be deeper like on this side that would be like a file change but you could clearly tell ah oh, same material really really good I just I love it I really like the color in it it is even her skin tone even though it is pale here, it's kind of like pale pale, and then over here it's kind of like a bluey pale. So there is more blue, I think, put into this printing on this printer, which is very good. There's nothing wrong with that. I love blue. But okay, yeah, um, I think official right here. Damn, I have a really awesome printer, guys. <laughs> uh, hello, future projects. Uh, can't wait to meet you. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for being so patient and putting up with all this crap, but this is how long it took to get here. So, yay! Bye! <laughs>